In the previous lecture, we introduced Planck's quantum hypothesis, which basically tells us that energy is quantized, energy exists only in discrete units. Now let's look at the following example, which is a direct application of that hypothesis. So a hydrogen chloride molecule oscillates at a frequency of about 8.0 times 10 to the 13 hertz. In part A, find the minimum quantity of energy in electron volts that such an oscillation emits or absorbs. And in part B, what is the difference in energy between any two successive quantum numbers? So let's begin with part A. So let's look at the following diagram, which essentially describes our oscillating molecule. So let's suppose the blue sphere is our chloride sphere, and it has a partial negative charge and our H sphere is shown by the orange symbol and it has a partial positive charge. Now essentially what happens on the subatomic level is these two molecules essentially oscillate back and forth. In fact they oscillate very very quickly. This tells us that it oscillates 8 times 10 to the 13 full cycles every single second and every time it oscillates it either emits or absorbs a certain quantity of energy. So we want to calculate what that quantity of energy is. So to calculate that we have to apply the following equation which we discussed in the previous lecture. The minimum quantity of energy is equal to the product of the frequency and max Planck's constant. So H is simply a value that was determined experimentally. It's equal to 6.626 times 10 to negative 34 joules multiplied by second. So we take Planck's constant and multiply it by the frequency of oscillation of the molecule and that gives us 5.301 times 10 to negative 20 joules. So this is a very small quantity of energy, but it represents the minimum quantity of energy. Now, because we're dealing with the subatomic level, because we're dealing with the microscopic level, it is useful to convert from joules into electron volts. Now recall one electron volt is equal to 1.602 times 10 to negative 19 joules. So using this conversion, we can convert from joules into electron volts by taking this quantity and dividing it by the this quantity as shown in the following calculation and this is equal to about 0.331 electron volt. So this represents how much energy is released or absorbed in an oscillation of the hydrogen chloride molecule. Now let's move on to part B. What is the difference in energy between any two successive quantum numbers? Now recall in the previous lecture we used the following equation. So E, the energy, is equal to N multiplied by H multiplied by F. So in part A, we were looking for the minimum energy, so the quantum number n was equal to 1. Now n could be any positive integer, it could be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Now we're looking for any two successive quantum numbers. So let's suppose we choose n equals 1 and n equals 2. So the change in energy between any two quantum numbers, n equals 1 and 2, is equal to E2 minus E1, where E2 is simply n equals 2, so it's 2 multiplied by h multiplied by f, and this is n equals 1, so it's simply h times f. So this is equal to simply h times f, and we know from part A, h times f is simply equal to 0 0.331 electron volt. So, for this particular molecule that has 
a certain specific oscillation, the difference in energy between any two consecutive, between any two successive quantum numbers is equal to this quantity, which is equal to the minimum amount of energy that one oscillation emits or absorbs. And that is exactly what Max Planck's quantum hypothesis tells us about energy, tells us that energy does not exist on a continuous spectrum of numbers, but rather it exists as a discrete quantity. Energy is quantized.